Hey, my name's Finn and I'm a web designer at antler.co. I wanted to put together for you a video of my top 15 tips, like my best tips to help you grow as a web designer. All these tips you can implement right now and they'll help you get more clients, grow your audience and ultimately make more money. So let's dive straight in. My first tip is to use your iPhone to get high quality video calls. Recently, I've actually just been using my iPhone as my webcam. All you do is mount it on some books or you can actually get a stand for your phone and you've got like a 4K webcam right there. So my second tip is set your LinkedIn location to the nearest tech city. What I mean by that is I live in Gold Coast, Australia but it's kind of small and actually Brisbane, Australia is the nearest big city to where I live and it's where a lot of the tech stuff is going on. So I actually set my location to Brisbane and then I was hired for my full-time job at Antler. So I think it's actually a really good idea for you to pick a location that's near you that's a bigger city or that has more tech companies because it will actually give you more visibility on LinkedIn. If any of these tips are helpful for you, please leave a like on the video because it really helps me out. My next tip is start designing from a template. Trying to find the right design can take a while sometimes. So that's why I recommend going to your client's industry and finding some website templates that look really nice because they already have all the layouts and even colors that your clients will probably quite like. You can base your design off the template and move much quicker with the project. And then what you can do is actually buy that template and then you've already got 80% of the website developed for you. This will remove so many headaches for you when working with clients, especially when you're starting out. The next tip is another LinkedIn one. Add all your client projects into your LinkedIn career history. Most people, including myself, were just using this career section for my full-time positions. But then I realized, why not add my freelance projects here? Overall, this makes you look like you have a lot more experience and that you've worked with a lot more companies, but it's actually true. Just set the projects as part-time or freelance and you're not actually doing anything wrong. My next tip is to share a video case study after every successful project. This is basically a video where you show the website, show your Figma, the, the Webflow development. You take the user through the website, showing them how you built it. And these videos are great for posting on YouTube or LinkedIn. They can help you get more clients. I actually recently made a case study video that I can link to you here about a recent client project. If you wanna see how I do them, after every single client project, interview your client. Video testimonials are extremely valuable. You can add these into your case study videos. You can post them on your LinkedIn and they're just a really good thing to have because a video testimonial is the most powerful form of testimonial and having your clients say nice things about you on camera is a really good thing to have in your back pocket. So make sure you remember to do that after every project. My next tip is about how to stand out on social media and the best way to do this is with video mockups. Trust me, they make your projects look a thousand times more professional. And by using motion and video on social media, that motion will draw the human eye. It's gonna get you more clicks, more likes. It's gonna help you stop the scroll of the user. Check out Anna Supply, link in the description for some amazing 3D mockup templates that are gonna help you stand out on social media. My next tip is to start using WISE. If you're accepting payments from clients in different currencies or from around the world, you need to be using WISE. They have lower fees than platforms like PayPal and Revolut, and their app has one of the most beautiful, unique product designs I've ever seen. I actually like their design so much, I made a video about it and posted it right here on YouTube. And when I shared that video on LinkedIn, one of the design directors at Wise found it and actually commented on it, which was really cool. So shout out to Nikki. If you appreciate good design, please just use Wise as your online banking system. It is, like I said, my favorite way to receive payments. Link in the description to sign up for Wise. Trust me, you won't regret it. Now, here's a cool tip for you. Integrate your social media photo with your website's logo. It's a really cool way to personalize your website and especially if someone's coming from Twitter or LinkedIn or YouTube to your website, the first thing they see is your logo and it has the exact same picture as your other platform. It creates that continuity. It's on my website and it's one of my favorite things about my website. 
just makes it look more me and more personalized. This next tip will help you go from literally zero to wireframes and content in one hour. If you don't know about Reloom, it is one of the best AI website builders on the web. And if you're not using it, you are missing out. You have your first client call. That call is transcribed with the AI note taker. You take that into ChatGPT, get it to create a website prompt, which you feed to Reloom, which will build you your sitemap and actually do your wireframes for you. This is a process, so I made a video completely dedicated to this. Go check it out. Definitely look into Reloom because it's one of the best tools out there for web designers. My next tip is gonna help you make more money. Learn web development. Okay, this is something that a lot of web designers don't know about, is that web developers are making a lot more money than you. Why, you may ask? Because when a business needs a website, they don't even think about, we'll have to hire a designer for this. They just go to a Webflow expert or a WordPress guy or gal. They, they just find the person who's gonna build the website and then they ask them to design it. And the developer just says, okay, I'll design it. And then all the web designers are like, where are all the clients? It's because they've gone to the web developer. The natural solution to this is for you to become a web developer yourself. When I became a Webflow expert, I was getting so many more clients just to do Webflow websites than I was before. So if you learn web development, you can start building your own designs, charging more, and actually getting more clients in the first place. You're probably asking yourself, what platform should I build these sites on? If you're a designer, the answer is Framer. And this is my next tip, is to learn to use Framer to build your websites. Now I'm gonna make an entire video about Framer and Webflow and which one you should choose. But the TLDR is that if you use Figma and you're a design person, Framer is gonna be so much better for you. It basically makes building websites like designing them in Figma, and it has a really cool plugin that you can actually export your entire design from Figma directly into Framer. Framer loads really fast, even faster than Webflow. So definitely learn Framer if you're a designer and you wanna make more money. By the way, if you're looking for a course to learn Framer, I highly recommend Ryan Haywood's Framer Masterclass. I've just completed this course myself. One of my favorite things about it is that he packages every lesson into about one and a half to two minutes. So you can actually learn Framer probably within a month with really bite-sized lessons. My next tip is gonna help you find clients when you're starting out. Don't go for the big freelancing platforms like Upwork or Fiverr. I know a lot of designers get their start on those platforms, but actually how I got my start was on a smaller freelancing platform, a more local job board called the Unicorn Factory. And on the Unicorn Factory, which is a, a freelancer marketplace from New Zealand, you can actually connect with clients and they'll respond to you. On these smaller freelancing platforms, local platforms, it's a lot easier to get the ball rolling when you're starting your career. There's, first of all, way less competition and the ratio of clients to freelancers is a lot closer than a place like Upwork where there's just so many freelancers out there and so much competition because it's easier to be a small fish in a small pond than a small fish in a big pond. This next tip is to help you get unlimited website leads. Okay, you ready? Start a YouTube channel <laughs> because YouTube is becoming the new Netflix. People are flocking to YouTube, not just for entertainment, but to learn things. When people wanna learn something, they go to an expert. Oftentimes they just end up hiring that expert because they discover it's too hard or too difficult to do it themselves. That is your opportunity right there. If you can start sharing your projects and teaching other designers, showing clients your work, you can really build a following and start getting clients. I got about a, a 6,000 US dollar project from a YouTube channel when I only had about 300 subscribers. And one of the misconceptions that people have about YouTube is that you need a lot of subscribers to get clients. And that is not true. I got another client which was a $15,000 project. Again, I did that video case study recently on the same project. I got that from YouTube when I had about 600 subscribers. Once you build that following and you get the ball rolling, you will eventually you know, have unlimited clients and unlimited opportunities coming through your YouTube channel. These are tips you can actually start doing right now and they will help you with your career. So thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope there's some people still watching. And yeah, drop a comment if you have any questions or any video suggestions. Please subscribe and like the video, all that good stuff. 
And if you wanna learn more about how to get more clients on LinkedIn, I actually made a video about that and I'll put it here for you to watch. With that being said, until next time, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.